Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Natik in Elk Grove, California, and NatikeYarns.com coming to you live on this slightly crisp Thursday. It's a little chilly out today. A little bit, but no rain. So, did you get, because I know you have that weather app on your phone too, the frost warning for like the next three days? Mm, no, but I also didn't. No, I haven't seen that. Up. Yeah, maybe it's just your part of town. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I was down here when it popped <laughs> oh. up, so I'm in the same part of town as you. I don't know. Did anyone else get it? I don't know. Do you guys have that My Radar app on your phones? That thing's awesome. Let's go. Let me refresh because I still don't have a video. It's gonna make it hard to link into also if there's right? a video. Okay, there we go. Now we're talking. We yeah, are. We actually are, but. We're weird. We admit it. Weird is good. Oh, Kathy said above freezing. Yeah, hmm. I mean, currently it is. It's 50, but I got a warning. I guess they meant, like, overnight for, like, the next three days. Hmm. I don't know. I haven't looked at what the actual temperatures were supposed to be. I was just like, hmm, hmm. okay, well, it's a good thing all my plants that I remembered to cover are still <laughs> covered. And the ones that I didn't remember to cover, they survived all the other frosts. Right. So if they don't survive this one... It was their time, and I'm sorry, plant, but it was your time. Because I do, I did forget to cover, because I just didn't even think about them. I had planted these, they end up like a shrub, but I planted this plant that is called, like, a money plant. They get these oh. little purple flowers, and then they get these little seed disc pods that are like a little flat coin-shaped pod with seeds in them. Hmm. And I planted some of those because you can't get them already started. They don't transplant well. So mm. I had to actually start from seeds. And last I looked, only one of them was still alive. Uh oh. Of my little shrub that's like this big. So I was like, this may have been a bad idea. I should have just planted more salvia. That stuff is yeah. like indestructible. Scorched by the sun, frozen by the winter. <laughs> still there. Happily waiting for the hummingbirds to come back. Nice. Because once they start blooming, I will have hummingbirds in my yard again. Because I do not feed them. They get what nature provides. <laughs> because I do have an outside cat that thinks oh, that yes. feathered friends are delicious. And I don't want to encourage the birds to hang out in my yard because it's dangerous in my yard. So far, she's only gotten a squirrel. Oh, wow. Which is impressive because those suckers are fast. They are. Okay, so for our grand prize, which I'm going to get to draw to see who the winner is soon, uh, we have one of the Noro Heart Scarf Dropship Kits, uh, meaning we don't have these kits in the store, but you can order them and we will ship them straight out to you. Well, the vendor will ship them for us straight out to you, or if you want to pick them up here, They'll ship them here for you to pick up. Ooh, we're on Shelly's big screen today. Nice. We're famous. It's like a movie show now. I know, right? A movie show. <laughs> we knew what you meant. <laughs> uh, I'm like, I guess I couldn't decide between a movie and a TV show, so I'm a movie show now. Oh, lordy. Okay, so for this, you get five skeins of Noro Curion. We also have Silk Garden in the store that you can swap out if you want something a little softer because it has silk in it. Uh, and you get four skeins of your main color. Your, that's your background color. And then one skein of your heart color. You want good high contrast between your colors. So that's why the more fall versus more spring palette of your two colors. I love that contrast color. Right. I think my sister did a sweater out of it. Out of this one? Yeah, or at least started it. I don't know if it's finished yet. Yeah, we don't worry about that. Do yeah, we? no, no. We just like to start. So, how you get entered into the grand prize drawing is every time you make a purchase from the 16th through the end of March, you are going to get one entry. No, I do not remember it's if it's 30. 31 days or it's not. It's 30. That's why I said... End of March. It's 30. No, it's 31. Oh, man. I had to do the song. I never learned the song. I have to count on my knuckles. Yeah, I never learned my <laughs> knuckles. But, um, I'm like, 
Did my Wi-Fi turn back on? Because I am grainy as all. Oh, my do you want to check? On Hold on, folks. We'll be right back. Don't mind the pause. Okay, well, let's see if a interruption. Oh, that's better. Okay, I awesome. was like pixelated. I looked like a computer character. <laughs> um, okay, so any purchases made from the 16th through the 31st of March will get one entry. It is cumulative, so if you purchase three times, you get three entries. If you purchase ten times, you get ten entries. And then we will draw to see who our lucky grand prize winner is on Saturday, April 1st. I have a new saying going through my head. Go team entry. Go team. team. In you know, in in entry, like make your entries. Okay, I heard injury. And oh, went, no, no, what no, kind no. No. What sadistic mind do you have? No, because I tell my Worried husband, I tell my husband, go team paycheck. Oh, so, you okay. know. Collecting right? Paycheck, right? <laughs> like chop chop deer. I know. These house bills don't pay themselves. And I need to buy yarn. Right? Right. That's what, That's what my check for. goes for, yes, is yarn. <laughs> Co team yarn check. Yes. Ah, okay. All weird. right. Okay, so then for today's daily prize, we have Danielle's pattern the great wall cowl which has this really fun bavarian cable pattern repeating around um, you have enough in the included prize yarn which this is a cashmere blend to do either the small or the medium maybe just an inch or two less in height or width um, because this is about 25 yards less than the original yarn, but I'm pretty sure we didn't use the whole skein anyways. No, nope, so I had leftovers on that one. You're probably in the can still do it full-sized category. If you're nervous about it at all, after you do your ribbing, you weigh your yarn and see how much you used, and then you know how far you can go before you better start your ribbing or else. And how you get entered into the daily drawing is by interacting with the video, which I see you guys are already starting to do. <coughs> if you react with any of these handy bubbles down here, then you get one entry per reaction. If you comment on the video, you're going to get five entries per comment. So all of these hello hellos this morning, you're already getting entry. And then if you want lots of entries for the least amount of work, then you click the little share arrow. You can share to your friends in your stories. Those are the quickest ones. You can send it to a friend in Messenger. You can post it in a group. Wherever you share, just come back to that day's video and comment shared to and where. And then you're going to get 11 entries per share. The only part, because as you saw, I was having typing issues. The only part <laughs> you have to spell correctly is shared to. The rest of it's just because it's weird to write shared to and move on. Um, so then you're going to get those 11 entries added into the pool. And then the next day's video, we draw to see who our lucky winner is. So this is based off of the interactions from yesterday's video. That was fast. Betty Henderson Sparks, congratulations. I don't think Betty's local. Do you know? I don't remember. We're sorry, Betty. If you are local, come visit us and let us know you have a prize in the cabinet. If you're not local, the next time you make a purchase, just tell us in the notes that you have a prize and we will include it in your pretty pink package. Hmm, yes. Most used last name. I think this is still my favorite color in these. The tablet stand, the phone stand, these things are awesome. I have one sitting on my desk and I use it every single day. She does actually use both. All right. So that means H for you. We sold some pens yesterday. These are super cool. I love those pens. Mm, let's see. Can I do it one-handed? 
I can, oops, With no, I can't. Clicking you can, but there. you can't, you can't <laughs> twist the pen one-handed. Yeah. So you can have it lit up. I can't do it on or off with one hand. There we go. <laughs> Takes more fingers than I can um, do while holding the phone. You'll have to close that one because, yes, you can't close it one-handed. Check. And we have these sparkly pens, too. The rhinestone pen. And readers, if you guys want some cheaters, we have from size 1 all the way to size 4 now. All right, Facebook's lost its mind. Let's see. Oh, I am all kinds of grainy again. Okay. What is going on with the internet today? We're going to look at some lovely caramels as well. Pop a few of these in your bag for the drive home wherever you're going. Scarf cups. Hopefully it's just my computer, you guys, and it's not cutting out too bad for you guys, because my yeah. Wi-Fi is off, but it keeps pausing on the computer. Like, I get a little thinky wheel, hmm. and it's staying very grainy. So, hopefully it is just me. Karen is using her phone stand, and so. Claudia uses her sparkly pen. I know I have one in my purse. I have the light up one in my purse too. No wonder my purse is so heavy. I have a lot of pens in there. Just clear out all but the Nateek ones. Yeah. Those are the only ones. Okay, so we have a very we have a restock basically of a very soft and fluffy yarn that is this is one of concept by Katia's most popular lines is the cotton merino. And because it's so popular, they've started to do some variety to them beyond just the original. Like we also have the tweed. Uh, so this is the glam, uh, which is 131 yards of worsted weight yarn. It is 46 per cotton, 34% extra fine merino wool. Extra fine means it's super soft. 12% polyester metallic, that's what gives it the little shimmer, and then 8% polyamide, which is like a nylon, um, which gives the yarn some really good structure and elasticity. Yeah, see, it's bad for you guys too. Darn it. I ha have a zero fix for that, and I am very sorry. The internet has decided it's not cooperating today, and I don't know what to do about that. Technology is fun, right? Yeah, that's the word. Yeah. Good, so this first color that we have here is the black, which is color 306. It's like a jet black with a really dark charcoal metallic flex. It is a chainette construction, which um, is not going to show very well in the black, but what you can see is that it is very springy which gives your garments really good elasticity and stretch. It makes them very lightweight. Uh, so your sweaters, like if you're doing a sweater, it's not super heavy. I blocked a blanket for someone recently out of this and it was, oh my Ooh. goodness, gorgeous. That would be so cozy too. And, and like you say, for a blanket, it was lightweight. So then, You'll be able to see the chain at construction better in this color, which is 307. This is a pewter silver, so kind of more of a pewter gray, but you can see the metallic thread in there is definitely silver. And you can kind of see little lines in there that look like little tiny knit stitches. And that is what makes it the chain at construction. It's basically a teeny tiny I-cord with the fuzzier fiber, which is the wool blown inside which gives it that gorgeous soft halo that you can see around the edges. I love a good chainette yarn. And this, I feel like of all the cotton merinos that we've had is the softest of them too. Like they keep getting better. This one is awesome. This was the color of the blanket that I blocked. 
So I'll show you guys a couple projects out of this, well, not out of this yarn, that you can do out of this yarn. Uh, this is a really <coughs> fun shawl. She's, it's misleading in the first picture, but let me go down here. It is actually a shawl. Pretty. But it's got a really fun construction to it that you've got this um, like garter eyelet stripe section, then stripes of your two colors, and then this beautiful lace border. So it's nice to see that you can cowboy cowl it or wrap it around your shoulders as a shawl because it is definitely like you can see when she's holding it out. It's a good sized shawl. It is. It's pretty. And oh. This one would only take like, I think two skeins each of your two colors. Just oh, says, two. Okay, four. Yeah. So, yeah, two skeins each of two colors. So four total. You said numbers. My brain's short circuited. <laughs> <laughs> but I just like the. It's got just enough of that. The pattern's changing to not get bored, but not so much that you're like, okay, this is getting a little crazy looking. So that's Fraga, 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 Fraga. <laughs> How fancy do we want to make it? Um, then this is a oh, fun and fast love little cowl. One. The Azka Bandana Cowl by Ginny Noto. In typical Ginny Noto fashion, there's lots of pictures of different colors. This was actually designed out of like the original cotton merino. So this one actually is essentially designed for this yarn. But it's just got this really fun slip stitch rib pattern with a little bit of bandana shaping so you get that nice easy to wear accessory. And this one, one to two skeins depending on if you're making what she refers to as the child size or the adult size. I love this pattern. Another one I need to start. We'll add it to your list. And then this one I fell in love with this morning, the Winter Ooh, pretty. Pyramid. Um, and here's why. I really like this detail of this triangle with the line down the middle. So you're going to get that really flattering look to the lines of the pattern. It's all just, it's knits here, pearls here, nothing crazy. Um, and then it's size range so 700 yards is like six skeins to I think like 11 skeins for the largest size and it is a good range of sizes from where did it go there we go 34 to 62 and a half nice she says it's intended to be worn with about four to five inches of positive ease if you don't like that ignore that if you only like two inches do two inches like knit the sweater the way you like it to fit you. But I just like this really classic, simple sweater. And if the neckline is too wide for you, you could easily pick up and do an inch of ribbing and then bind off, not loosely in this case, to give you a pulled in neckline a little bit more. So you can easily modify the neckline to get the fit that you prefer on Winter Pyramid. And the gauge is 15 and a half stitches in four inches on a size nine needle. Nice. So that's a fast sweater. Fast, lightweight. It's going to make it like a multi-season sweater. Like this is the one you shove in your bag for if the air conditioning is on high at the movie theater or the grocery store. Or the office. Yeah. All right. One hmm. more. This is Piku Vuak. Go? I have no idea. Okay. Pico Vuco? I wonder I what know. language but that is. It is this beautiful, like, fern lace pattern with a wide ribbed band. If you don't want to do a folded band, you just do half as much on your ribbing. Easy peasy. I like this one that they did, like, two colors. They did, like, half and half, basically. I wish they had a picture of the whole hat on that one, but they don't. But this only takes two skeins. Oh, it's finished. I'd have to ask um, mm, Chris to tell yeah. me how to pronounce it because I know I butchered the heck out of that. 
Chris, tell Tom I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I'd have to call it the Pikachu hat. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing that went through my yeah. mind, too, because I grew up in the Pokemon era. Which is surprisingly stuck around. I didn't it think has, it yeah. Would, but it stuck around. Then we have this beautiful rose pink, color 300. I think that's my favorite out of all of them. I like the way this one gets a marled effect because the metallic is just a little bit darker than the cotton and the merino. So you're getting that like barber pole effect in the strand, which when you knit that up, it gives it that marled effect that the colors just blend together. And I always think that's so pretty. Then we have color 308, which is this soft snowy white. Ooh, that cowl in the white, wouldn't that be pretty? Yes. I mean, that cowl would be beautiful in any of them. For sure. This, let me pop some length in here, but the shawl that I have coming up, I think would be fantastic in the white too, especially if anyone needed like a wedding type shawl, you know, fancy event type thing. So that is, the, and I like the two of hers. I like this little garter triangle with an eyelet border, and then you have this beautiful leaf lace design down the center, framed by stockinette, and then the eyelet border and garter again. So you're getting like this little accent piece in the middle. Oop, we're back. All right, well, it does not like my cellular service this morning, so I just turned my Wi-Fi back on to see if that will help. But I just think this shawl is beautiful. I could see, you know, wedding wrap in white, more of like evening out in the black. I'm like just super fun in some of the colors coming up. Yeah, you're like just pretty in general. Yeah. But let's see. 30, 260, five skeins. That's not bad. No, because this yarn is under $20 a skein, so you're not adding up too crazy, and it's gonna be so cozy. Like, this is the shawl that you'll carry with you everywhere. Then, if you want to do color work, this one looks really fun. This is the first color work cowl by Jared Flood. I like, it's very simple color work because it's only ever one stitch in between the colors, so you're mm. not having to learn about floats yet. So this really could be your very first Fair Isle project because there's nothing crazy to the stitch pattern. Even though it looks like there's like a lot going on here where there's the gold, white, and blue, it's still only one it's still only two colors per row. There's never like the three or four that gets really crazy. Cause like this row is just blue, gold, blue, gold, blue, gold. This one is just white, gold, white, gold, white, gold. So you don't get anything that's too hard for a first Fair Isle project. And it just has really fun, like architectural look in the patterning. But then look, it's depending on how high wow. contrasting your colors are like, there's not a lot of contrast between her teal and her lavender, so that little zigzag design gets lost a little bit, but it still creates a pretty look. It's just more subtle. And this one is only gonna take one skein of each of your colors because the total yardage is only 253. Um, and it is one, two, three colors, or four colors, or five colors. Whoa. There's multiple nice. versions. So you can pick how complex you want to get with your color palette. Like, wouldn't this be fun, what we have out right now so far? Definitely would. Just a little pop of color. Okay, and then here's one for the best people, AKA Karen. 
uh, the Slanting Slip Over by Ann Vinsel has just enough interest going on everywhere. You've got this beautiful textured like rib and garter pattern on the body and then your decreased line is really far in and elongated here and then there's another line along here with the one by one twisted rib. So you're getting this these really flattering lines and look how cute it is on her. She's just got it over top of, like you can tell, not prepared for a photo shoot because that's like a bat wing top or something. Yeah. Her, her shirt's all scrunched. But you could just do it over a t-shirt or a long sleeved shirt just for a little added warmth. And because it doesn't have sleeves, you're only at 656. So that's six skeins to eight skeins for any of the sizes. Nothing too crazy. Okay, let me show you guys a few more colors and then a few more patterns. Since apparently my Wi-Fi seems to be working better than my cellular today. It's opposite day. Okay, one for the orange people. Lisa Meg. Three zero one. <laughs> it's kind of like a rust, almost like roasted pumpkin. Yeah. And then the I really appreciate that they with this whole line they've done the metallic in a similar shade to the fiber so you're not getting anything crazy like you just get this really rich beautiful kind of bronzy color out of the orange then for a good gold we have 302 it's kind of got that olive patina tint to it where it's just got a hint of green I know it's not accurate, but I want to call it muted Frank Ochre. It is essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Because Frank Ochre tends to be a little more yellow, whereas this is a little more gold. Which I know is a very minor distinction. And that is why we try to describe colors a bunch, is to help with the fact that cameras are always off, monitors are always off and everybody's frame of reference for what a color is is different like if you ask if you go in the paint store and ask 10 people to pick out a navy paint card they're not all going to pick the same one. Oh, i want to go try that right like that would be really fun it would be like okay everybody go grab navy and see what which one people pick wow i mean you'd have to send them down the aisle one at a time because otherwise you're oh yeah influenced by what well you picked that one. <laughs> <laughs> like it will throw off your thoughts. Yes. What it is if you see what other people pick. But it would be fun. Like, okay, everybody this weekend, go to the paint store, get a paint chip that you think is navy, and let's pool them together. Field trip to go visit Eileen. <laughs> Eileen, are you working? <laughs> everybody go visit Eileen, grab a navy paint chip, and let's see. With Eileen, with their navy oh my gosh, that's awesome. I love it. If you're not local, just go to your local hardware <laughs> store and we'll figure out how to Photoshop you in a selfie with Eileen. Oh, that's funny. Uh, okay, last color is 303, this gorgeous, like, sage green. Okay, I really don't have a favorite in this group. I like them all. Right? Well, they're just such a classic palette none of the colors are extremely bright none of them are really like even this that's a soft color it's not quite what i'd call pastel mm -mm. like they're kind of this classic middle capsule color collection okay so i have a few more projects to show you guys if you need a instant gratification one skein wonder this rafa's hat would be perfect super easy it's knit one pearl one ribbing and then every i don't know inch and a half you have an all pearl round nice so you just get these little ridges to add a little interest 
and then it's hard to see because they designed it in a dark color but the lines as they decrease all end in like these little triangular pyramids so you have a really well thought out decreases on how the uh, ribbing starts to disappear as you decrease. So one to two skeins depending on how big of a head you are making that one for. Then I really like this one. This is Take Along Two by Chic and Regal Knits. This one's just two colors but just a little oh, fun, fun of garter stitch and then some mesh lace like yarn over knit two together nothing crazy look at all the different fun color palettes so you can really get an idea of how pretty it is with like this is pretty bright high contrast but this one's kind of subtle so you could do like one of the neutrals and then pick your favorite color for the accent or you could just pick your two favorite colors, like you could do green and gold, you could do the orange and green, you could do pink and gray, like there, there's no wrong color combo in this. And it is only going to take well, she said two skeins of the main color, but what was her yardage? 418. So you would need three skeins of your main color and two of your contrast. And then Ooh, that's been on my list. Cold all the time, Meg. Um, the Seafield Seafield Concho, basically cowl slash poncho, is a really fun one for if you want to do something with a little interest but nothing hard. Like these are all just knit pearl stitch patterns to create different designs. There's kind of leaves. There's little diamonds. There's this little zigzag. Should I just, oh yeah, that shows the detail much better in the lighter color. But it's basically just a funnel cowl that, so you can see, this one is actually cowl sized. So there's a cowl or more of a capelet slash poncho. The cowl is only going to take you might be able to get away with two skeins if you make it like one section shorter or I think six skeins for the large extra large of the poncho size I could see you doing that one for sure and then Meg stealing it mm, that too so you should probably just make it I know right because <laughs> we all we all know what's gonna happen mm-hmm siblings I wouldn't know I'll be your sibling but I'm not knitting red okay <laughs> I'm the typical sibling what's everyone's favorite and while you guys are chiming in favorite colors I'm gonna grab a link to the calendar and we'll talk about a couple of our upcoming classes. You'll notice there's not a lot right now because in case you have not been able to watch videos for the last week or so, Boss Lady is about to be gone. So we have coming up after she gets back, on, starting on Saturday, April 11th, and then part two will be on the 25th, is the Cobalt Comet Cowl. This one is going to teach you the basics of doing a cowboy cowl, starting with a garter tab and increasing out, and then joining in the round and continuing to the end. But it's also going to be talking about how to use a planned pooling yarn, where you're doing a different stitch where you come to your contrast color in your skein. So in this case, it was the blue, and everywhere that the blue came up in the yarn, there is a lace design to give you a little bit of interest. Keeps you from getting tired of knit, 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 And more knit. Right? It's, it's kind of like that song that never ends. It's like, wait, now yeah. I don't know where to stop. <laughs> like, I started, I can't stop. That one is one skein of fingering weight yarn. We used Smushy Cashmere. 
That is the colorway Cobalt Comet, which is one of our Natik exclusives. Um, and then we also have lots of other colors, as well as colors that are one of a kinds in the Smushy Cashmere Trunk Show. So you have lots of choices for a fun planned pooling color for that one. Then if you would prefer a quick knit where you're gonna learn a fun new technique, the Florida Jade Cowl is on Friday, April 14th. This one is done with one skein of the Malabrigo Noventa, which is a bulky weight superwash merino yarn. It is exquisitely soft. I think it outshines Rasta. And this pattern, we're gonna teach you how to do this really fun design where you've got this little twisted stitch that so there's a left twist and a right twist to create this fun little design against this stockinette and garter ridge background that size is the one skein size but the pattern has three sizes so you can choose the cowl that makes you happy okie dokie so then we will talk about what are we wearing let me pop the links for those in here really quick. Take a look at the colors again while she's getting those done. All right, so I am wearing Marie Green's soundtrack with a twist. I steeped it into a cardigan because I wear cardigans more than pullovers. Uh, so this one is a very easy design where you're just doing a contrast color with slip stitches me being me it's beaded silk and sequins for my contrast color because glitter but just a little slip stitch pattern so all I did was basically add you add like five stitches in the middle of the front that are just plain stockinette for that part and then when you're all said and done you get out your nice sharp fine scissors lay it out nice and neat and snip 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 and I know that sounds dreadfully <laughs> scary but I know you guys have seen me wear this a lot and this is as unraveled as it's gotten on the inside nice because knitting does not unravel sideways as easily as it unravels vertically so that's why you can steep your knitting as long as you give yourself a decent buffer of stitches on either side and voila, you can take a pullover that you wish was a cardigan, and you can fix that. It's Thursday, the gardeners are back. Oh, yeah. I know, why are they always here on our day? Right? <laughs> like, you guys come annoy Danielle someday instead. Pick on someone else. This is the Roberta wrap. It's a little, little long for the video, but it's basically a giant rectangle with some armholes in it. I love that style of wrap because it's like, it's really flattering and flowy in the front and it's just ridiculously easy. Yeah. Drop stitches, knits and pearls, that's it. How pretty would that be out of some of the blue heron? OMG. Yes. Susan's got to go knit now. <laughs> I, I've oh, distracted her thoroughly yeah, now. Some of like, oops, sorry. Thank you, gardener. <laughs> Move along. We're trying to listen about yarn. Okay, so we will get ready to go to the store. I'm sure we've got orders to pull for you guys and get packed up for the delivery peeps to bring on their way to you. Danielle just brought a whole batch to UPS yesterday because they haven't been by yet this week. So we're like, all right, fine, we'll do it ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.